prepare for a portfolio review, I, I think uh, you should know who you're meeting with. It's better if they come to me because they want to come to me rather than just I'm just some random name here and they just want to get some random review. It's not that I wouldn't want to see other work, but if I'm to help you, you kind of have to be a little bit in my sweet spot. As you consider coming to an event like this, uh, it's very important that you select precisely the number, uh, the, the, the category of people that you wish to see and tailor your work to, to best have an impact. Make sure that you research them before you sit down with them. So, you know, if you find out that you're getting this great meeting with them, someone from Travel and Leisure, you know, look into what they've been doing. Yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised to say that the folks that came today absolutely did their homework and they knew that before they sat down with me. In an online environment, there's so much that you can find out about the person ahead of time. I think it's a better experience for both of us if they're coming to me because of uh, what I can offer them. In terms of preparing your own portfolio materials, uh, it's great to have a business card or a leave behind. Uh, it's great to have uh, a portfolio that, um, uh, that you can turn in a book form. I would urge you to really put your portfolio together and examine carefully all the biographies listed on our website and select carefully the people who most apply to the work that you're doing and, 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 and take that portfolio of yours and tweak it so that it's tight as a drum.